with Michelle Lee, Chief Meteorologist Carl Spring, and special reports from Barbara Riles. You're watching NBC6, and this is News Center at 5. Given the area's beautiful scenery and rich history, it's not surprising filmmakers come calling. From Disney's Iron Will to the award-winning film North Country, the Northland has been home to several dramatic productions. One filmmaker is now in Duluth working on a slightly different genre of film. Duluth native Jim Ojala joins us to talk about his, his uh, upcoming thriller movie. Yes, it's yes. It's good to have you here. Now, you graduated locally? Yep, from Duluth Central. And yep. so maybe some of your former classmates are watching. Mm -hmm. um, you first got your start in local television on cable access. Tell us about that. Yeah, um, I mean, after we graduated high school, a lot of my friends and I, you know, we were all interested in filmmaking and all that. And, and uh, at the time, we didn't really like what was on television. And rather than kind of complaining about it, we figured, well, let's create something. And so I took the classes for next to nothing at public access that packed here in Duluth. Um, and they teach you how to, you know, shoot, how to edit, how to completely create your own production, and 24-hour access uh, to the editing facility as well. And uh, so we kind of like got together, my friends Jeremy Davey, Derek Brunn, and Marty Johnson, and we created a uh, kind of a horror comedy television series called My Three Scums. <laughs> and uh, it followed a family of misfits and monsters and how they get by in society. And uh, we ran that on public access for about three years and kind of got, you know, notorious or popular mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. town. And, um, and that was a ton of fun. And that's where I realized, like, whoa, this is the greatest feeling, is writing and directing and seeing a vision completely come to life. And, um, and once I realized, okay, I need to move on to the next step, uh, I took the best copy of My Three Scums that I could find and um, got the biggest computer box that I could find and put the copy with a letter to the president of a company named Troma in New York City that had similar sensibilities to my early films. And, uh, but there was a bunch of space left in the box, so we filled the rest of the space up with big helium balloons with my three scums written all over the balloons. So it arrives at his office, the president opens it up, and poof, all these balloons fly everywhere. Whoa, eye-catching, right? And maybe won't be ignored this way. A month later, I get a letter from the president saying, thank you for all this stuff and you're a really talented director and if you're ever in Hell's Kitchen, New York City, um, I'd love to meet with you. And uh, so I immediately, you know, booked a trip to New York and went out there and met with him and we got along great and he invited me to uh, intern on his next film, uh, Citizen Toxic, Toxic Avenger Part 4. Okay, and the rest is history. Yeah. We have to talk briefly. Um, we have just about a minute left or even less, but I want to talk to you about your latest film that you're producing and mm -hmm. you're working on it locally today. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, it's uh, called Strange Nature and we've already shot uh, a bunch of the footage. We shot all the winter footage during the blizzard this past February in Minnesota and we'll be coming back this fall to shoot the rest of the feature. It's a horror film uh, thriller based around the deformed frog outbreak that happened years ago and which is still unsolved. And we kind of show where this could go when mutations move beyond the pond, seen through the eyes of a pregnant single mother and her child. And this is your first feature first film feature, and you're yep. looking for big things for it. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're already in touch with um, different distribution arms and we'll try to go to festivals with it. And We'll go through it, and plus I, I do makeup effects for a living, so we have half of the monsters already created. Oh, so. wonderful. So when yeah. you come back to town, the next time we'll have to have you on, maybe you can show us a clip or two. Definitely will do. Okay, thank you very much, Jim. All we right. appreciate your time today. Thank you. And if you would like to learn more about Jim's work, log on to NorthlandsNewsCenter.com. We've set up a link to his website. Stay with us. Carl has your forecast coming up next. <laughs>